Hello, I'm Loredana from Neurals.ro and I will show you our pre-alpha demo of our online round-trip engineering tool for machine learning. We have integrated into a web application Anaconda, Jupyter Notebooks, Keras, TensorFlow, Bokeh and web technologies like Meteor.js and Keras.js to obtain a flow for creating, modifying and running Keras models in the web browser. In this video, I will focus on how the whole process works from a high-level perspective. We start with a recipe browser. A recipe, in this case, is a combination of a Keras model, a Jupyter notebook with code for loading the data and training the model, the corresponding weight files, and the web route where we can run the model online with the obtained weights. This model is already trained. I will click on this run icon and see how well it performs. This is the actual model example from Keras.js using the MNIST handwritten digits database. It easily recognizes a three. But it has trouble if the placement is not on the expected pixels. Let's go back now and try a modified version of the model. We want to keep this initial version, so we click this icon and we fork it. We can see that this model has lost its weight and it cannot be run anymore. But we can click on the edit icon so we can modify it. Let's add two more layers. Convolution 2D layer. and an activation layer. We can see that the layers names are Convolution 2D14 and Activation 14. We will save the model and go back to our recipe browser and train it. We can see that this model has a train icon but this one has a retrain icon because we may want to retrain the model if the data or notebook parameters have changed. I am running the notebook and we can see that TensorFlow is used for training. Data has been loaded, and I did a print of the model used. So these are the two, la the two layers. Added a couple of minutes ago. And this is a graphical stream of the loss and accuracy variables at the end of every batch. I also included some prints of the actual variables. So if the model is good enough, and of course if we have enough and unbiased data, the loss should be close to zero and accuracy close to one.
the model has finished running. And the weights have been saved. We can now run the new model. Here we can see the two new layers added earlier, Convolution 2D14 and Activation 14. And we can also see the visual representation of their activity. To recap, we can edit the model, fork it, train and retrain it, and run it to see how efficient it is compared to the original. Thank you for watching and be sure to check out our other demos. This video is from Neurals.raw and we are looking forward to help you with your AI needs.